In a 1 hour and 25 minute union budget 2024 speech, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman highlighted nine priority areas namely agriculture, employment, inclusive development, manufacturing and services, urban development, energy, infrastructure, innovation and R&D, and next generation reforms. Here are the key highlights revolving around the same. Tax reforms. The union budget saw some major tax reforms, especially for the investors and in personal taxes for new regime taxpayers. The standard deduction under the new tax regime has been increased from Rs 50,000 to Rs 75,000 and the deduction on family pension for pensioners has been increased from Rs 15,000 to Rs 25,000. The reforms in the capital gains tax regime and the FNO trade sent the Nifty 50 and Sensex slumping. Long-term gains on all financial and non-financial assets will attract a tax rate of 12.5% instead of 10%. In a disappointment for F&O traders, the 2024 budget increased the securities transaction tax on futures and options of securities to 0.2% and 0.1% respectively. Angel tax has been proposed to be abolished for all classes of investors. In a new policy, Vivad Se Vishwa Scheme 2024, it has been announced for resolution of certain income tax disputes pending in appeal. Education and Employment When it comes to education and employment, budget for FY25 to provide Rs 1.48 lakh crore for education and employment and skill, said FM Sita Raman in a budget presentation. Several employment-linked incentive schemes for employees and employers have been announced. The government has proposed to provide a month's wage to first-time job seekers with direct benefits up to Rs 15,000 aiming to support lakhs of youth. The Support to Employers scheme aims to promote additional employment across all sectors. Employees will receive reimbursement of up to Rs 3,000 per month for two years for EPF contributions for each additional employee earning up to Rs 1 lakh per month. The government is set to launch an internship scheme for 1 crore youths in over 500 firms, Rs 5,000 per month as internship allowance and one-time assistance of Rs 6,000 will be provided under this. New centrally sponsored scheme will be launched for skilling in collaboration with states and industry, 20 lakh youth to be skilled over five years. Providing financial assistance, government to provide financial support for loans up to Rs 10 lakh for higher education in domestic institutions. The government has also proposed to provide e-vouchers directly to 1 lakh students every year with interest subvention of 3% of loan amount. Infrastructure and Development Strengthening the infrastructure phase 4 of the PM Gram Sadak Yojana will be launched to provide all weather roads to 25,000 rural habitats. Comprehensive development of Vishnupat Temple Corridor and Mahabodhi Temple Corridor will be supported. When it comes to rural infrastructure, Rs 2.66 lakh crore has been allocated for rural development, including rural infrastructure. She also said that 3 crore additional houses will be constructed under the PM Avas Yojana in rural and urban areas. Expanding on the PM Avas Yojana Urban 2.0, 1 crore urban poor and middle class families to be covered under the same. The budget introduced rental housing for industrial workers facilitated in a public-private partnership. Rs 15,000 crore has been announced as a special financial support for Andhra Pradesh. For Bihar, new airports, medical facilities and sports infrastructure have been announced. It's worthy to be noted that Rs 26,000 crore has been announced for highways in Bihar. 
under the National Industrial Corridor Development Program, 12 industrial parks have been sanctioned. MSE and Manufacturing Sector A separate guarantee fund will provide Rs 100 crore to MSME. Under the Mudra scheme, micro, small and medium enterprises will now be able to avail loans up to Rs 20 lakh instead of Rs 10 lakh. Export hubs will be established to enable MSMEs and traditional artisans to sell their products in the international markets. Budget estimates 2024-25 The Finance Minister informed that for the year 2024-25, the total receipts other than borrowings and the total expenditure are estimated at Rs 32.07 lakh crore and Rs 48.21 lakh crore respectively. The net tax receipts are estimated at Rs 25.83 lakh crore and the physical deficit is estimated at 4.9% of GDP. She said the gross and net market borrowings through dated securities during 2024-25 are estimated at Rs 14.01 lakh crore and Rs 11.63 lakh crore respectively. Budget 2024 will lay the foundation for the dream of Vixit Bharat by 2047. PM Modi was quoted saying on this year's budget. What do you think about this year's budget? Do let us know in the comment section below. Until then, stay tuned to Midday. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.